If your home has a gas water heater, then you'll likely find a dial very similar to this at the bottom of it. This is the water temperature adjusting dial for gas water heaters, and it can be used to raise or lower the temperature of the hot water throughout your home. A lot of people don't realize how easy it is to adjust the water temperature, but there are a few things you should know before you twist that dial. 120 degrees Fahrenheit is the recommended default for most homes, and that's indicated by this little triangle you see on the dial. You can, however, turn up that temperature as high as 160 degrees Fahrenheit on most water heaters, and as low as about 80. But keep in mind that the likelihood of getting scalded or burned increases as you turn that dial up. You can do a quick online search for your water heater model to verify, but most of the time this chart shows the temperature that corresponds to the settings on the dial. If you have an older water heater, it may not have a dial like this at all, and if you use an electric water heater, there are typically two dials, one at the top and one at the bottom, but they work in the same way. For electric water heaters, it's recommended to adjust the top dial to be slightly hotter than the bottom dial. Understanding how this dial works is important because if you don't have small children in the house, you may want a hotter shower or hotter water from the tap in the kitchen. But if you do have kids at home, it's recommended that you keep this below 120 degrees Fahrenheit or about 49 Celsius to prevent them from getting scalded. This chart shows how quickly water can cause second and third degree burns on adult skin. As you can see, you can get burned in no time at those higher temperatures. But here's the kicker, this chart is for adult skin. For children's skin, they tend to be more sensitive and they can get burned not only quicker, but more severely. So you might wanna check to make sure you've got the right setting for this dial for your particular situation in your home. Now, if you wanna take your safety a step further, you can install what's called a thermal valve or a thermostatic valve. Thermostatic mixing valve, almost got it. Thermal, <laughs> thermostatic mixing valve. It's a mouthful. Thermostatic mixing valve. Nailed it. These start at about 40 US dollars and they give you localized control of water temperatures for specific faucets, tubs, or even bidets. The valve is something you can install yourself or you can have a professional plumber take care of this for you. Now whatever temperature you set your dial to will be the temperature that your water stays at within this tank. So the hotter you set it, the more gas or electricity the heater will use. With that in mind, it's recommended that you actually turn it to the lowest setting before you leave on vacation to save money while you're gone. When you get back, just don't forget to turn it back to where it was and give it about 30 minutes to heat up before you hop back in the shower. Lastly, it's helpful to note that most dishwasher manufacturers recommend that you keep your water between 120 and 140 degrees. So that may factor into where you set that dial to. Also, most North American top loading washing machines rely on the house's hot water temperature for their hot water cycles. Front loaders and washing machines with an extra hot cycle, on the other hand, often have a built-in water heater. So these are all things to consider when you're trying to select the best temperature for your home. A huge thank you to our patrons on Patreon, as well as our channel members for supporting this channel. While we're in the utility room, a lot of people have questions about whether they're putting their furnace filters in correctly, or if they're even using the right size furnace filter. So to get answers to questions like those, you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching.